All right, we continue our chat with the uh, the leaders, and we've had Andrea uh, Horvath in, uh, Kathleen Wynn in, and now we uh, are honored to have Tim Hudak joining us on the PCs. Good morning. Yeah, Kevin, Dina, great seeing you guys. Great to, to be on. You. you were supposed to be here Monday. We should let everybody know. So you're only available for one segment today as opposed to the I'll two. I'll come that back tomorrow doing. morning if you uh, like. I'll uh, double the time hey. I'm in, and I get my Tropicana orange juice all laid out nice and neat here. There you go. Do you actually drink it? Yes, we do. He I actually guzzled a go. glass yeah, yesterday. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. Enjoy. Mm. And there goes the interview, and good oh, luck thank tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get this out of the way with first and foremost, because it's in the news this morning. You did not blow up a hospital runaway laughing, did oh, you? Man. <laughs> like, you know, I've been in politics for a while, and I've seen all kinds of tactics, but holy smokes, this is really going over the top. And you know what? That's a scene from Batman. I'm yeah, actually exactly. a Batman fan, <laughs> yeah. but I usually get compared to Batman, not the other guy. The yeah, Kapow I, graphics, the little bubble heads on the side is all it's missing, right? It's like, like it's getting a little ridiculous, isn't it? You just want just want to clear that up. Okay, let, let's get down to the brass tacks. Yeah. And not blowing up any hospitals. Not blowing up the any hospitals. The cows will continue to give milk. The sun is still going to shine. It looks more and more, the polls that we've had released lately, uh, showing that it looks like we are headed one way or the other for a minority government. Are you, are you prepared for something like that? That. And it, with sure. Kathleen Wynne saying she's not going to work with you if if you win, how would it yeah. play out if you were indeed elected a minority government? Would you play nice with the Liberals or the NDP? I'm a nice guy. That's why you have me on on the couch here. Well, look, um, you know, if you vote for me, you're voting for somebody who's going to focus on jobs each and every day. You vote for me as somebody who's going to make sure we've got good quality public services on the front line. Does that mean taking a lot of money to the back office, bureaucrats milking the system to support the front line? It does, but that's a long overdue choice. And what particularly is disturbing about this last week of the campaign, the negativity, the attacks of the Liberals, that Kathleen Wynne's going into our hospitals and our schools trying to, you know, sow fear. Um, I'm actually going into one of our public schools as a dad. I'm going to our hospital, sadly, uh, as a dad. But I'm going to be there to fight for good public services and more jobs. She's just simply trying to fight to keep her own job. So the million jobs plan. Yep. Uh, we've had many experts uh, tear it apart and say that, that your people have overestimated the million jobs as much as eight times even the Conference Board of Canada has well, come out with that. Let's, let, well, that's not true, but let's, let's get some experts on that will say the other side because there are those who have said, in fact, that, that we're being cautious of their job numbers. Philip Cross, the former chief economic analyst with Statistics Canada, he had an op-ed the other day in the National Post that said, Hudak's plan is going to work. In fact, he thinks it'll create more than a million jobs. So, Kevin, I'm happy to have that debate. If it's a million five, if it's a million, if it's 800,000, the bottom line is it's going to create more jobs. So let's get going. But by losing the 100,000 public sector jobs, do you worry about losing votes there? You saw the OPPA came out with their own ads. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And I think a lot of police officers are pretty disturbed that the union has you know, gotten into politics and what kind of deal they might have cut <clears throat> with the government. But here's the bottom line. Um, I am choosing to be honest with, with voters. When you're spending too much money, the only way to spend less is to spend less. But I believe Ontarians um, want a leader who's actually going to tell them about the mess we're in, but offers a positive, optimistic plan on how we get out of it. And I think you probably know, Dean, the vast majority of those jobs will be people who retire, so you don't fill those positions over the next four years. But there are wasteful bureaucracies that we don't need. When I see more people at school board offices and not enough help for special needs kids in our schools, the solution is simple. Less bureaucrats, more special needs and teachers. I mean, programs like Drive Clean that charge your viewers a tax and a hassle every two years on your birthday when the program's not needed, I would close that program down. Does it mean that some bureaucrats lose their jobs? Unfortunately, it, it does. But our job is not to keep bureaucrats busy. It's to give you a break and give important public services. But isn't it sort of a moot point anyway? I mean, if, if we are indeed headed towards a, a minority government, I'm sure that's not something you wish to concede uh, right now. And I don't think Kathleen Wood would want to concede that as well right now. The, the, the entire jobs plan has been poo-pooed by the Liberals and especially by the NDP and by, by unions. So how effective would a PC minority government be? Or how could it be effective? Well, let's, I mean, as I say to Dina off the air, she asked me if I'm targeting. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, what I do miss is I've got a two-month-old daughter, Maitland, who might be at, at home right now with, with uh, Deb watching up. on television. Um, so I miss my girls, but otherwise, um, my daughter Miller, too. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. Like, I enjoy fighting for something I believe in. I've got fire in the belly, and I know what's going to work. Um, so it's like reading a good book. You're anxious to see what the last chapter holds, but you're enjoying it at the same time. So we'll see what voters decide, and I'll respect whatever voters decide. But they know in Tim Hudak they've got a leader who's going to focus on jobs. I want to be the jobs premier. I do that so more people can go home and say, I got the job. It's going to help out those who are left behind today, like people with disabilities, the disadvantaged young people, new Canadians who are struggling to make ends meet. 
But here's the real reason. It's the job, sure. But when people are making good, steady income, they're paying steady taxes. And then we have revenue coming in to match the big heart Ontarians have. Better hospitals, making sure that latest drug to fight Parkinson's, that we get it first here in the province of Ontario. That's what I'm fighting for. So people who are watching right now, there's a lot of voter apathy happening, and they're thinking, I'm just going to watch FIFA and like pick Brazil over Croatia, and I'm not going to head to the polls. What do you say to them? Well, I think Brazil's a good pick. <laughs> yeah. but, but so are the PC. Yeah. So, uh, there's there, there's your, your double pick there for Thursday. And there goes a Croatia vote. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and this is... This is Probably the biggest shame in in Ontario, in any politics in Canada, is that so few people, unfortunately, exercise their right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and what's what um, I worry about has been we've seen a lot of. I mean, you can't turn on breakfast television and not see negative ads from a lot of the government unions or the Liberals. And unfortunately, you know, my opponents, the other two that have been on the show, um, have spent a lot of this time just saying what they don't like, what they're against, what they don't like about my plan. I'm not going to be like that. I'm not asking people to vote against the other parties or vote against their leaders. I want them to vote for our plan, for a better Ontario with more jobs and a government that's going to work better for them. Well, thank you for taking the time today. For more information, OntarioPC.com. Remember, voting day is tomorrow. Yeah. And it, it is so easy, even if you're not on the list yet, uh, there are certainly ways that you uh, you can do it. I encourage you to go to OntarioPC.com. I encourage you to check out the Liberal campaign and the NDP campaign and make an informed uh, sure. decision. Yep. All right. Thanks for being with us. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good, good luck on the trail. See you girls soon. One Thank more you. day. One more day. Uh, let's go to the uh, live eye and say good morning to Jennifer. Good morning, Jen.